On behalf of the Department of Mathematical Sciences at Bath, I would like to welcome you to this first LMS Bath Symposium. I'm Johannes Zimmer. I am here in Bath in charge of the LMS Bath Symposium series, which is kicking off with this meeting. So we are excited that uh, this meeting on mathematics of machine learning is taking place and look forward to a very stimulating and rewarding meeting. Obviously, I have to welcome you virtually in, uh, to Bath. We would have loved to uh, welcome you in person. But of course, the times are very difficult. And I want to say a big thank you to all of you. The last couple of months have been very testing and challenging on all kinds of levels, sometimes personal. Um, we had to switch our teaching online. Uh, life has been tremendously complicated. And I want to thank you for taking the time to join into this activity and participate. When we started planning the symposium last autumn, of course, things were very different. So under normal circumstances, this is where you would be sitting now. On the left, this yellowish building is the Department of Mathematical Sciences. And on the right, you see the lecture theater you would be sitting in right now. And actually, this is exactly what the lecture theater looks like at the moment. And it is one of the good outcomes, if you want. So we had in mind 70 participants, maybe 80 at a stretch. And now about 900 people have registered. And for us, this is wonderful. And we're excited to see that the meeting has shaped up so well. A few words about the LMS symposia. So for people from abroad, the LMS is the London Mathematical Society, and the LMS has run um, symposia for a large number of years. So between 1974, when the first meeting took place, and 2019, these were the LMS Durham Symposia, uh, a total of 111 meetings. And then there was a decision that the symposia should travel around the country, and Bath was chosen as the second host site, and we will host the symposia between 2020 and 2025. Before saying something about the Bath Symposia and Bath and this symposium, let me say a big and heartfelt thank you to Durham. And I want to say this not only as the coordinator of the Bath Symposia, but also as a mathematician. The Durham Symposia have been hugely influential for mathematics and in particular for the mathematical community in the UK. So I've just taken a snapshot of the first um, meeting in 1974 run by Michael Etia. If you look closely at this schedule, you see that uh, they were quite serious. They had meetings on a Sunday. And as one example of many high profile meetings Durham has run, just another snapshot from the notice of the AMS from 2001, discussing the big impact a meeting on PDEs in 1976 had. So just to show how important and how far reaching the um, influence of the LMS symposia was internationally and for the UK. So certainly Durham has left very big shoes for us to fill. How could we hope to aspire to come up with something similarly successful. So what we want to do in ideal circumstances is what uh, we call this concept workshop plus X. Workshop is what is taking place this week. X is either a research incubator or a summer school. The idea of the summer school is that we want to be as inclusive as possible um, include as many young people as possible and therefore prepare PhD students or postdocs for the workshop. The research incubator is a collaborative research activity which would probably normally take place after the workshop in the spirit of a study group as they run in a number of countries. What we want to take on from the Durham um, style is that the meetings should be research intensive and Normally, without COVID, one of the aims would be that we would like to have long meetings, which could, including the X element, span up to three weeks, 
giving people ample of time to spend together here in Bath, collaborate uh, and produce new mathematics. Obviously, in 2020, this nice plan didn't quite work out so far, and we had to change. Uh, luckily, with positive side effects, as I mentioned, by having so many participants. So this is what we had in mind. I tell you how we adjusted plans. The core event this year is the LMS Symposium on Machine Learning, which is the event this week. The ICMS agreed to fund uh, a workshop, Analytical and Geometric Approaches to Machine Learning, also here at Bath, which should have taken place last week and has now been postponed, presumably to the summer of 21, hoping that people can then meet in person. The X element for this meeting, the incubator, was planned for next week. But we, since we would like um, people to meet and be together and work together in person if possible, we also decided to move this event to the summer of 2021. There's another event which is not an LMS symposium, but in the spirit of the LMS symposium, it's called PDEs and Randomness, which has a summer school which took place in July in an online format. And the workshop itself will also take place in 2021. So a little bit about Bath. Our department was founded in 863 BC. Well, almost. What did happen in 863 is that Bladut, the legendary king of Bath, uh, the legendary king, um, well, according to the legend, founded Bath. And the legend has that he's a mathematician. So at least Bath has the rare distinction of being a city founded by a mathematician. And I like to think that he founded the department in that go, but admittedly, I don't have the paperwork to back that up. But Bath is an old city. So just to give you some impressions, it's a Roman city. The Roman found a hot spring here, built a bath. There's an abbey in which one of the kings of England was crowned. The two most famous buildings are probably the circus on top and the royal crescent at the bottom. Bath is one of, I think, only two or three cities in the world where the entire city has the status of a United Nation World Heritage Site. So in case you like this appetizer, let me just flash again possible opportunities to come and visit Bath in person. The research incubator and the ICMS workshop should take place in 2021. We are planning two more symposia in pure mathematics for 2021. And the call for the 2022 symposia should be out this autumn. Let me close with a big thank you to a number of people. So first to the funders, the um, LMS, uh, the ICMS, Bath has an Institute for Mathematical Innovation, the Alumni Fund, and we also have a center for doctoral training called SAMBA. They all would have contributed and contribute financially to the costs. I want to thank all of you. Um, I want to single out the IMI for um, having uh, been prepared to pay the lion's share of this meeting. This wouldn't have been possible with um, any single of those funders. So thank you very much to all of them. Then I have to thank cordially to the, uh, the organizers, Phil Aston, Matthias Erhardt, Catherine Hyam, and Clarice Poon. They've done a wonderful job. I have done literally nothing. They have um, organized the meeting, had to switch online in the midst of the organization and have done this, as you see, with a huge number of participants, tremendously successful. So on behalf of the department, thank you to all of you. You've done a wonderful job. Last but not least, thank you all to you participants. You are the most important people of the meeting. Enjoy the meeting, contribute, and thank you for participating. Thank you.